more of a facilitation style champion. Um, but it is going to be a very effective pick here. Speed up the Jinx in the late game, speed up the Zin and buff him up. Spell in the pin, especially if, opponent, if opponents are not going to be building a ton of MR, which, I mean, when we look at the composition from TL, they're really not. Yurison's going to be taken down to pretty low, however, below 100 HP, even one more shot, and Team Liquid. Uh, Huni is kind of taking advantage of that because until Bubble gets some more sustain in. Oh, nice kick back onto Bjergsen there, but he does get the ulti off in time. Ayla's coming to try to help him, so they're going to get the flash out of the TL mid laner. But now Spika, he'll die next. Stolen Chrono Shift brings him back. It is a battle of resurrections, but it's TSM who get the first real kill here in the mid lane. Now Spika's got to try to get out. That bomb dragging off this, which is going to have them feeling pretty damn good. Yeah, TSM, they've got themselves that neutral objective. Top side forces out Bjergsen's TP, uh, but TSM posturing for a fight. Okay, Yurson goes in for the engage. It's Ayla the target, and he's already gone. Yurson trying to get away, but the ignite keeps on ticking, and it burns him down one for one. You can be pressured where your cooldowns are long, where the bomb thresholds are weird. Uh, it can be very difficult to last it perfectly, and Bjergsen's pulled it off. The thing about a Jinx getting ahead, I mean, it's always, always going to be concerning because Jinx is skilled so incredibly well. But when you have the zillion behind you, it enables you to use that gold way more effectively with oh, the additional move speed. Incredible. And you can just play so aggressively in their face because you know you have that zillion in your pocket. Oh, tactical. Trying to get away here as TL siege up on that tier one turret. A little bit more damage. Nice root comes out and immediately Kaido is destroyed. Right. And Huni's still gonna, not going to be nearly as powerful as the most powerful members on TL. So we'll see what TSM wants to do. I think one thing that things more difficult and TSM going to be able to grab this mid lane tier one. So keeping the gold here pretty close and we'll see if they want to fight. Come next, Dragon, utilizing that rumble. Ooh, curtain call's already opened up. He's looking for Hans, but instead they're going to get Whippo. TSM. They just go for the dog pile down mid lane with the second Herald. They end up nearly getting the tier two turret, and they're going to pick up the kill on Whippo to keep the kills tied up. And they will get the tier two turret here with the wave coming in. So gold should be in their favor if, if not, you know, Dead even. It's gonna be really, really nice. So yeah, pretty much dead yeah, even. Constantly awesome. strap bombs to your head. Something's gym. going wrong. If you yeah, can. this is that's not an ideal gameplay scenario. At that point, there's something more wrong. Uh, Huni is just building some heal cut. He has his rocket belt. He may go towards the Zonia's neck. Now, too, Spika is hovering around the area in the enemy jungle once again. Oh, but Kaido was gonna stop here in the brush to try to fight back against Whippo. He goes for the stasis there to make sure he doesn't die, but it's Han Sama guaranteeing it with Super Mega Death Rocket Brand Insurance. Flash away from the Equalizer. Whippo trying to kite it out and fight it out and stay alive however he can. However, that minion wave walking up means the shotgun is not going to do it. it. This should be a freebie for the side of TL. You will take that trade daily, nightly, and ever so right. In with the rest of the squad. The Baron Enchanted minions are there to provide the tanking, and Han Sama's got the damage. Tier 2 turret falls here in the top lane. Team TL are on the chase, though to try to meet up with this wave on bot side. Baron buff it up before it can actually be cleared out and Spika may be caught. Oh, Spika, he got greedy for the blue buff and although he took it, Ayla's the one wearing it now. A pick on the jungler feels great for TL and the war machine ain't stopping. They just keep this push going. Bottom lane tier two, mid lane tier two, inhibitor turret line now under siege. TSM is feeling the heat on this one. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been about the kills, but TL are making this game look so easy. It is 23 minutes, and you're uncontested, just pushing into the base, taking the inhibitors. They got so many towers with this power play. Look at that, plus 5,200 gold liquid away from this one. Bjergsen has pretty much no mana to work with. Almost entirely yeah. useless is the Zillion. Equalizer plus Curtain Call. Situation where all of this darkness, all of this fog of war in their own jungle is so scary for TSM, because as soon as somebody gets caught out, it turns into this. Now, TSM are going to get one back in retaliation, so at least it's a one for one across the map, but it's TL with a better position the as they have die. their minions flooding into the bot lane. They've got their minions coming into the top lane to help them push this remaining turret. A one for one is not so even after all. No, not at all, because I mean, they're at your base. They have the push. TSM have to go for these types of picks. 
Nice. So they get activated, and then you have to flash. And now Bjergsen catching out Huni. Okay, Huni's gonna get caught here. It doesn't look good. Oh, Hans's rockets, man. That's an Infinity Edge rocket <laughs> right there. Just write the name on the side of it. Ah, uh, it's brutal, man. You just can't move when you're going up against that Zillion. It's a double slow onto Huni there. He didn't even need a double bomb. It just double slows him 99% slow. As Ayla's down to take this fight, who cares? In goes Hans. Well, Kaido wants to knock him away there with the Zin Zhao. <laughs> See, but Hans, man. Oh, the damage from Hans, it's so much. TSM, they're still trying to deal with this. Yurisan's running away from Whippo. Speak is alive, but remember, he already had to use his flash earlier. A stasis comes out to guarantee the Team Liquid support is not killed by the Jin ulti in response. Oh, man. This, this oh, is like one no. of those things where you, you want to you beat up your friend in a game, so you challenge him to the game. You know, Bjergsen's like, ah, I hate TSM. I'll smash you, you know? You're having some fun with it. But then you start beating them too bad, and you're like, uh, you're like, oh, this okay. is kind of feeling bad. Uh, don't worry, dude. You're really good. Yeah, you know? it's like, like oh, yeah, my character's just broken. Don't worry, I'm just, OP, I'm just playing. You know? yeah, I play this game a lot a more than you. <laughs> really. You're just hoping he doesn't get up and leave I'm at getting this point. lucky, yeah. you know. It's, it's my bad. Uh, so, Bjergsen going to help finish this one out. Bjergsen PL. definitely gave the rest of TSM the Mad Cats controller on this one. <laughs> he is player one, and he ain't shy about it. Little brother isn't even plugged in, man. Oh, man. Team Liquid takes down TSM not even 28 minutes into the game. It wasn't an avalanche.